We had a two fox day, but we didn't get to bring them home. So, I don't want to show what happened. Nothing bad happened. Um, I don't know. I think the people don't understand what nature is actually like out here. It seems like uh, they think it's all, uh, you know, daisies and, you know, fields and all that. Just something, something nice and pretty. But when you see dead cows out here that are ripped to shreds by animals, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, you know, we live in a fallen world and uh, animals get teared to shreds daily. Daily teared to shreds. Oh, it's frozen. It's frozen. But here comes this dude. In he jeep. It would suck if he got stuck. Yo. Dude, that was sick. <laughs> I broke the surface tension, I think. Yeah. That's some thick ice. Hey guys. We got our first badger ever. And I was just saying to Shay as we're walking up here, I'm like, this one's sloppy, this one's not gonna catch anything. I swear to you, there will be nothing in my trap. Look at him, he's ready. And then we look and the trap is freaking gone. Come, come get him on video. Okay, come stand right here. Rose is hissing. Ooh. Oh, he mad, he mad. Dude, they sound angry. Oh my Holy. gosh, dude. <laughs> what a guy. We were just talking earlier about we saw a hole back there, we're like man, a badger, we just we just kick if it attacked us. This guy's this guy's scarier than I expected. Yeah. Is this, is this hole right here? I don't know. He looks like he dug himself out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he dug a little. Alright, well, let's take care of him. Alright, let me So in the hey. set. In the set right next to the badger, we got this guy. We got a gray fox. Hi. What do you think? Pretty solid. Yeah. Let's take care of this guy. So this is like the biggest it pile. Funny. People going back and they're just like alive in there. Yeah. It's the biggest pile of crap I've ever seen. Um, some of them are like bigger. You can see this one's got little notches in it, like a bobcat poop. And then you can tell some are smaller, like a kit fox poop. Some are fresh. This one's fresh, a little bigger. Could still be a gray fox. It was all right here though, like within like two feet. It was all right here. So I need some help. So here we go. I didn't record the last fox, but we got two greys and a badger today, which is freaking awesome. So really good day. Uh, great first experience for our man Shay here. Yeah, I just got that first time luck. You know how it is. Just yep. Every that, time. That beginner's <laughs> luck. So it's pretty nice. We got one. So, you know. Once again, God was gracious enough to give us another fox. It's uh, s Sunday, the 20 something. No, it's the 1st, 2nd of December. What is it? 28th. Damn. I was like, no way, it's <laughs> I December. I am way already. off. <laughs> we'll see if we can catch, if there's any more in the traps today. <clears throat> so, here's fox number two for the day. Hold on. He has a tick. Uh, a flea. So, yeah. Nice. Here's John Hi. and I in our new trapping location. Here's a dirt hole. Do not try to dig dirt holes out here. <laughs> Ever. Don't try it. Let's go check out John's trap. Watch this. Cut to me standing right in front of him. Boom. Just like that we're here. Alright. What do we think of the trap, viewers? It's pretty good. Oops, but it could just use a little more blocking, a little more height on the blocking on, on, on the front and the back. Come here. Come here. 
Come here. Come here. Good girl. Because there's so much coyote sign in this area, like that, I sprayed it though. Uh, we're, I'm gonna do some more blind walkthroughs. Um, John's over there setting up one sort of blind. It'll still have sticks because he's targeting a fox, uh, not really the coyote. And um, I'm gonna cover that up, but I don't want her to step in it. So let's see. You don't step in that, okay? So we've got four traps in this little valley that goes that way. And then we got, oh, my shadow is like, we got John's trap right here with some skunk on the tree. And so if any animals are coming through down this way, then not only will they smell the skunk, but they'll see the sign that we're about to hang up. So pretty hopeful for this one. Here we've got a set with a little thingy, dog checking it out. And then we got John finishing up his set Kind of just leads down from like this little thing. And uh, Charlie, hey, 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 hey! Oh. He stepped over the whole thing. Were well, you gonna step on that trap? I wanna show something to you anti-trappers. Here, sit. Take a look. She got her foot in a trap earlier. No pain, nothing, okay? She was all <laughs> yelping her butt off. I took the trap off of her, she walked away. She's doing good. Focus on another foot. Dogs gotta learn, yeah. you know? They gotta learn. And she'll probably step in another one. But by the second one, she'll have it down. <laughs> but she was fine. John's over there talking about how it's so wrong that I made him carry the stuff and that it's because he's Italian and they're a despised yeah, race. It's a little racist, but... But here we go. Here's a little toy lead. Well, looks more like one poop. Pretty uh, indecisive, but we're mostly sure it's Bobcat. So we're going to set an exposed walkthrough. Yes. And uh, Charlotte stepped in a trap again. So stupid. But look at that. She's walking around perfectly fine. Look at that. Agile as ever. So have fun setting on that. I'm going to go way up in this and and uh, set a little hidden, hidden walkthrough. I've got a totally hidden walkthrough right there. No scent, no nothing. It's totally hidden. There's my scent and my trap um, and the skunk up there because this kind of runs down along a ridge that way. There could be a lot of animals over there or animals coming from up there. So. I just figured it'd be smarter to kind of intrigue them. You know, the wind commonly blows that way, it seems. So this set's a little too clean with it. What do you think? <laughs> he got the bobcat poop. The little signage, the skunk, the different lures, the lure over there. Yeah. I'm out here in my southern spot. Well, I guess I can't call it the southern spot anymore because I pulled my traps up north. But I've checked most of my traps today. I only have a few left. Got nothing, but I've set five more. And uh, I'm gonna set quite a few more up here um, in some areas I haven't even looked at yet. But all right, now it's time to go check my last bunch. And then I have like two over there. No cats today. Actually, nothing today. But I wanna get a lot of sets in. So, I'm just going to show you one that I'm doing right now. I'm going to do everything the same except hide the pan, because I really want a kit fox. So that heightens my chance of kit fox, so. Um, so. Also, another thing I noticed is like these sloppy looking valleys. I always assume that no animals came down them, but that is very false. Like, you know, it looks very sloppy, but last week, or last check, as you, as you saw in this video, I got a badger and a gray fox in the same ugly valley so don't assume that atheists be like hey grandpa jeez bro this dude is menacing as hell oh my gosh 
No, don't turn towards me. Hell no. Ugh. Thing is big, probably about the size of my palm. I'm not going to reference it. I have walked very far into this like mountain range. And I kept telling myself one good toilet will make it worth it. I've been walking for at least like 10-15 minutes. Um, looks like coyote. That doesn't look like coyote. That doesn't look like coyote. And then, we got all of this. Um, um, I'll just have to set on it and see if it pays off. Okay, I took my sweet time on this set. One pile of poop. Second pile of poop, I sprayed piss on it. Got the blocking. Got the set. Um, and then over there, I got the skunk in the tree and I got that. So, praying for a bobcat on this one. So I found a, another little sum sum. Which is really interesting actually because these are way too small to be bobcat in my unprofessional opinion. Hopefully someone will watch this video and tell me if it is or if it isn't. I'm going to say it's not, but right here I'm going to say it is bobcat poop. It's pretty big. But just based on the shape and everything. And so, I'm in a weird situation. I think I'm gonna put a walk through right there. Oh, so just, just about five seconds ago, I said, I'm gonna walk right over here and set on this tree. And quite conveniently, um, I think that is a really good idea. That is 100% Bobcat. Because it dug out the little hole and uh, took a dump. So, man, I sure am glad I took the hike into this part of the mountains. It's going to pay off. Here's the set. Um, different lure on each side. Skunk up there with the sign and the poop right there. So, it's exciting, you know. Nice little uh, valley we're dealing with here. Not bad at all. And then my last set over here is not too far from the poop, and I'm just going to experiment with a not exposed walkthrough. Um, might turn up a dumb coyote or just something fun, who knows? But it's still it's still close to that poop, and it could get a bobcat easily. So, yeah, here we go. Time for like a mile hike back to the car. See, I have to put it in four wheel drive to get to my last two traps.